Today I'm going to highlight some of the features of Novelis that teachers can use when designing units of study. Novelis can be found on the BadgerLink website. If you press on All Resources and then go down to N, you'll see the buttons for Novelist and Novelist K8. For today's purposes, we're going to use Novelist K8 because it's more suitable to our stu students' needs. We can search based on the age range, ages 0 to 8, ages 9 through 12, or teen. You can see that the choices of the recommended reading lists change based on the age level. Under teen, we've got a variety of genres, historical fiction, romance, realistic fiction, but you also have interesting groupings as well. There's a nice feature called If You Like. If you like Divergent, then you may like these titles as well. They tell you that these books are for grades 7 through 12, and these are fiction. For the younger children, we've got different choices. We've got books categorized with concepts that are more age relevant. I feel. I feel scared. I feel helpful. I feel silly. Family. Books about brothers and sisters, mothers, fathers, grandparents. On the top of the screen, we've got our search box. You can do the standard searches based on keyword, title, author, and series. Today, we're going to focus on how we can use the basic keyword search to find a collection of books for a particular unit of study. An eighth grade teacher has come to me with a request for resources for her unit on the Civil War. She'd like to provide her students with a list of possible books to choose from for their book reports. However, she would like the students to pick two titles, one from the point of view of the Confederate soldier and one from the perspective of the Union sympathizer. So we're going to type in Civil War point of view. If we click on the Lists and Articles tab, we're taken to a recommended reading list, Civil War. If you look at the summary, you'll see that this is told from both the Confederate and Union points of view. These books are geared for teens and they're fiction. So if we click on this list, we'll see our collection of books. There's usually 20 to 30 of them in a reading list, and they're of varying reading of, um, levels. If I want to save this list, I can print it, I can email it, I can save it to disk, or I can save it to a folder. In order to do so, you have to be signed in. I'm currently signed in, so I'm going to click on my folder. And then let's go to folder view. It says folder has items. So I've got a few different folders. I have books I've read, books I want to read, <clears throat> and I just recently created a Civil War folder. So I'd like to add this list to that folder. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to say move to Civil War. So now when we click on our Civil War, you see we've got books, lists, and articles, one. So it should appear there. Okay. Okay, so we've got one list of books for our, our teacher. Let's go back. And this time we're just going to do a more general search of Civil War books. Again, we're going to go to Lists and Articles, and this time we'll see a whole series of reading lists. We've got Civil War, Civil War based on time period. We've got it geared for certain grades, 3 through 5, 6 through 8. We've got books that are specific award winners, and we have book talks, people who 
tell a little bit about specific titles. So here's some more good resources. And we can pick ones that we like and add them to our folders. So I am going to pick Civil War and Slavery, Fiction for Grades 6 through 8. I'm going to add that to my folder as well. Civil War. one here that was specifically read alouds for grades 6 through 8, so I'm going to add that to my folder, Civil War. Okay, so we're, now we're starting to get some nice collection of resources for this unit on the Civil War. Um, let's go back, oops, sorry, let's look at our list of books, and I want to point out a few other features. So we can refine our search here based on our audience for teens. We can refine it on genre. So we want to maybe historical fiction specifically. And we want to focus on the Civil War in the United States. So if you look at the list of books, you'll see below there's title readalikes. If you click on that, it gives you a list of books that are similar, and it tells you the reason how they're similar. You'll also notice that there's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. This is a nice feature. If you click on it, you'll see that you can agree or disagree um, with this recommendation. Do you think it is similar to the original title, and why? In addition to the read-alikes, you'll see there's also author read-alikes. So what are some other books that are similar to Anne Rinaldi's Leah Ann's, uh, Lee Ann's Civil War? You can see that Anne Rinaldi is described as writing historical fiction that appeals to young teenage girls. They're coming-of-age stories. So here we have a list of other authors who write similar, character-driven, compelling, moving and compelling, thought-provoking, similar characteristics to Anne Rinaldi's style. I hope you have a better understanding of some of the features offered by novelists um, that can help you when designing new units of study. Good luck and enjoy!